Mass spectrometry. What is it? How does it work? And why is it useful? I have already made several videos covering specific aspects of mass spectrometry, but if you are completely new to mass spectrometry as a technique, this video is the perfect fit for you. Mass spectrometry is an analytical technique that is used to measure the mass to charge ratio of a sample. To measure it, a sample first has to be ionized into gaseous form. Then it can be inserted into the mass analyzer, which measures the mass to charge ratio. The results from the mass analyzer are presented as a mass spectrum, which is a plot graph where the size of each component in atomic units is displayed on the x-axis and the relative abundancy or how much there exists of every single component in relation to all other components are displayed on the y-axis. Therefore, the three main components of any mass spectrometer are 1. an ionization source, 2. a mass analyzer, and 3. a detector. The ionization source, as the name suggests, is responsible for ionizing the sample. This is necessary because all mass analyzers utilize the interaction between an electric field and the ionized sample. Therefore, the sample requires a charge in order for the mass analyzer to do this job. One can use one of several different techniques in order to ionize the sample. These are electron ionization, chemical ionization, electrospray ionization and matrix-assisted laser desorption ionization. I either have covered or will soon cover every single one of these different ionization techniques in further detail in other videos that will all be linked in the playlist by the end of this video. Once the sample has been ionized, it gets passed along to the mass analyzer. Here again, there exist multiple different mass analyzers, which we can choose between. These are quadrupole mass analyzer, time of flight mass analyzer, magnetic sector mass analyzer, electrostatic sector mass analyzer, quadrupole ion trap mass analyzer, and finally ion cyclotron resonance mass analyzer. Again, I either have already covered or will very soon cover all of these different mass analyzers in more detail. It is necessary for me to dedicate a full video to each of these different topics because they work in widely different ways and the way the mass to charge ratio gets measured in each of the mass analyzers varies a lot. All of these videos are going to be in that same playlist by the end of this video. Finally, the results are displayed in a so-called mass spectrograph. The basic idea of this mass spectrograph is that the different subcomponents of the sample are displayed based on their size in atomic units as well as how much of each of these subcomponents exist in relation to each other. So, if we look at the mass spectrograph displayed here, the bar furthest to the left displays the smallest component in the sample and the bar furthest to the right displays the largest. Then, this bar here indicates which subcomponent there is most of, in this case, this one. How to interpret this graph I have also covered in greater detail in the playlist I mentioned earlier. And if you are interested in any type of mass spectrometry technique, I'll link that playlist now. Check it out, please. Until next time.